defining different selling points of oh, yeah. that product to uh, to really grab someone's attention. Like, yeah, you might have 300 different measuring tapes lying around your house. I know I do, but um, it's a great gift for someone. It is attachable so you're never gonna lose it like i've lost all of my other ones <laughs> um so uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's, it... that that's a really good point um we were talking about this the other day whenever we were going into the back end of facebook analytics mm -hmm. um is the kind of targeting that you can do an adjustable copy that you can do as a result um so i'm just going to continue with measure gear because i personally think it's a really good product um if we're trying to say target um, people that have men in their life that have a birthday coming up, maybe we're trying to market it as a birthday present. Um, whenever we create an ad for those people that we target, we can use wording like this is a perfect birthday gift for the guy in your life and things like that. Ads are so targetable and adjustable. And once you know that audience and you know who you want to target, you can start playing around with certain audiences respond to certain words better. Yeah. So how do you, can you switch that out? And sometimes you might just throw out the copy altogether and might just make something brand new for that audience. You don't even adjust the old one. Um, mm -hmm. Ultimately, I wouldn't recommend that because there's a learning period every time that you completely change the copy. Um, but there, there's some really interesting things there and most people don't know how much you can really target online. Nevertheless, how you can like adaptively change the wording on the fly. Mm -hmm.